Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. Today we picked up this Voyage Aeronautics VA-1000 drone. Now we did a couple of their other drones and they were really a lot of fun. We'll open this and show you how to use it. Alright, let's open this little guy up. See what we can do here. See if we can get him out of here now. I guess not. What is going on here? Ooh. And it's all stuck down here. Open up the bottom of the box too. It's all taped down there. Let's see if we can get him out of here now. Tape down though, wow. Here's our drone. Well, he's screwed down right here. We just unscrew these little guys. There's one. There's your other one. And they put down there tight. There's your drone. All right, look at that. Front, there's your camera. There's your battery pack right there. Transmitter. Get all this out of here. They don't want it falling out, I'll say that. Okay. Transmitter takes three AAA batteries. Let's see what all we got in here. The propellers, um, the protectors on the outside, there's your charger for your battery, there's your clip for your phone, this goes on here like that, and your phone fits right in there. There's your drone, we'll get him charged up and we'll see if we can get him flying, alright? Okay, your battery is right here, press in on both sides of it. It slides out. Your battery charger right here. Fits in right there on the back right there. Plug it in. Plug it into USB port and let it charge. I think it said it takes about 80 to 90 minutes first time out. Here's your propeller protectors right here. They just slip on right up here like this. One. Two. Three. And there's my fourth one right there. It goes on right there. Now there's your propeller protectors. 
keeps you from banging them when you land it and all. Extra propellers if you need it. If you fly like me, you probably will, okay? Comes with a screwdriver in case you need to take any of these little things apart. Here is a thing to plug your memory card into so that you can put it on your computer. Your memory card, it takes one of the micro USB mini cards. Now they go right here on the side. There's your front. There's a little slot on the side right there that that little thing slips right into. Be sure you get it in the right direction. There it goes. Until it clicks. Your memory card's in there. When you're through charging your battery, it will slip right back in here like this. That's the back. The front's where the camera is, and you're ready to go. We'll charge it and get it up in the air for you. All right, when you're ready to charge your battery pack, you got it plugged in. Plugs right into your USB port right there. Look at the red light come on. When that red light goes off, it's ready to fly. It says 60 to 80 minutes, I think it said on the first time out. So we'll let it charge and get it up in the air. This is where we're going to show you how to pair the transmitter and the drone, okay? You want to be sure you got a fully charged battery. You want to be sure you got batteries in your transmitter. When you plug this in and turn it on, don't fool around because the lights will be flashing. You don't have a whole lot of time before you turn your transmitter on, okay? So first thing we want to do, put the battery pack in the drone like so. Turn it on. See the lights flashing? Turn on your transmitter. Now then, left throttle all the way up, all the way down. See how the lights quit flashing? They're ready to fly. Now if you remember there's an automatic takeoff on your on your transmitter right here, okay? We're not going to do that. If you'll take both your sticks, pull them both down and outside, you're in manual mode. See there? See there? That's how it goes. Now you have speed control here on the top. It says speed. It comes on in one, which is slow. Push it once, it'll go to two, which is medium. Push it again three, it goes to fast. If you hold it down for a couple seconds, it goes into training mode. Training mode will have a maximum height, minimum height to keep you from hitting the floor or hitting the ceiling. Also has avoidance things, so if you get over close to a wall, it'll keep you from running into the wall. We'll show you how to do that once we start flying, okay? I think we're going to do a little flying now. First thing we're going to do is speed control. It comes on in one, which is slow. Click it once. Hear that? It went to two, which is medium. Three, which is fast. But if you hold it down, you go into training mode. Listen. Now that's training mode, okay? Now we're ready to go. Auto launch button right here. Now you want to land it, hit your auto lock button again, and it'll land. See there? All right. Let's do that again. We're going to take some photos this time. Take a photo, press that button right there once. Press it down once. If you want to take a video, press it down and hold it for a couple seconds. When you're through, press it again, it'll stop, okay? Watch. Now you'll make it turn to the left, see it, it rotates, rotates. Well, that crashed.
as a picture. Video. See if we can get us a video here. Whoop. Press it again. I think it's time to do a little landing. Get your auto launch. And it landed. Alright. Let's see if we can get it to do a flip here. Remember the right there is the stunt button. Okay, see it? Flip that. Tell this which direction you want it to flip. Alright, here we go for a flip. What do you say? There we go. Flips and it landed. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any. You got a lot more of these. Go check out the playlist. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Also, check out the description below. I have links to Amazon where you can find a lot of these. Okay? Thanks for watching and see you next time.